Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ali, and before we begin, if you're not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Only 3% of you are subscribed, so I'd really appreciate it. We'll jump right into it. First thing you want to do is black out the canvas completely, and don't forget to let it dry. And once it's completely dried, what you can do is get a sponge, put some phthalo blue on it, and begin to make random shapes onto the canvas. Don't overthink this step too much. Just make random organic shapes, and it'll all come together by the end of the video. Once you're satisfied with how much blue you've put on, get permanent red violet and begin to do the exact same thing as the blue. Make random organic shapes and just don't overthink this step too much. You might not like the way it looks, but you don't have to stress too much about it. It'll be fixed by the end of the video. If you feel as if the paint's gotten too dry, you can always put a bit more, but you don't need to worry about it too much. Just try to avoid any overlapping on this step. You can see that I'm not really thinking about it and I'm just making random shapes. What you want to do now is let everything dry and once it's dry it's time for the next step. Take magenta light and start going over the permanent red violet that you put on before. What I'm basically doing is trying to put it in the middle of it, kind of copying the shape that I made before but not entirely. And as you can see on certain spots, I'm blending more than others just to give it more depth. Make sure to go over every permanent red violet shape that you made beforehand. Now it's time for the next step. You can either take light blue permanent or you can mix thalo blue with white to go over the thalo blue you put on beforehand. You can see that I'm pressing more on certain spots than others to give it more brilliance. Once you're done that, it's time for the next step. So what you can see I'm doing now is I'm taking white with a little bit of magenta light to go over the two layers that I did before. This will give it a more glowy look and it'll all come to life in the end of the video. Try to do it more on the edges of the clouds just to give it more of a glowy look. Now it's time for stars. Just wet a brush, put a little bit of white on it, and start flicking. This will be the first layer of the stars. Once everything is dried, what you can do now is reapply magenta to the light pink clouds. I don't really like the clouds at the bottom left and top right, so I'm going to remove them later. You can keep them if you like, or just remove them. Now what we're going to do is start to add detail. What you're going to do now is take a really small brush, use white, and start outlining the clouds of your choice. Preferably if they're in the middle, it'll look nicer. What you see me doing here is taking my finger and blending the white outline into the cloud. Don't worry, we'll add more later. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to outline these clouds and once they're outlined, I'm going to blend them.
what you can see me doing now is reapplying white. This time instead of using my finger, I'm going to use a wet brush to blend in the white. Now I'm going to re-add stars as I said before, this is the second layer of stars and with this you can go crazy. You can see that I dropped a little bit but that's okay, just use your finger and get rid of it. This step is optional, you can do it if you'd like but what I'm doing here is adding stars by hand. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It will really help with the channel. And let me know what else you'd like to see. Take care, guys, in a bit.